Welcome to tip number three of the top 10 Adobe Acrobat tips. Today we're going to be looking at something called the sticky note. Sticky notes are really useful if someone sends you a PDF that they want you to proof or maybe check over. The sticky note allows you to be able to comment on different areas of the PDF that might need changing. There's many ways that you can access the sticky note tool. We can go comments, add sticky note, tools, comment and markup, sticky note, and because we put it on our personalized toolbars before, it's right here. So we'll just go from here. Click down. You'll notice the uh, mouse turns into a little little speech bubble there. Now it's wanting you to place the sticky note where on the page that you want to put it. So let's say we want to make a comment about the logo. So we'll click there and this will pop up. So once this has come up, you pop in what you want to say in your little note. So we'll say Please make logo bigger. Oops, capital L there. And there you are. Now you'll notice that um, I'm not Philip Bradley, just from the sound of my female voice. Uh, what happens is the sticky note puts the author as whoever's logged into your computer. So it's just kind of a default name in there. So if you head to options, we can change this. Properties. Then to general, it says author in here, and this is where you put your own name in. So, Rose Marie. Now, it's good to change the name of the author so that whoever's receiving your PDF with your sticky note attached knows who has said it. Now, you can reply to a sticky note. So, if you're receiving a PDF with a sticky note in it, you can go to options, reply. There we go. Once again, you need to make sure that your name is coming up is the default name. So I'll just put a reply in there. Okay. And there you go. Now that'll stay there. You can minimize it. So once it's minimized, it just sits nice and tidily down there just as a logo. You can hover your mouse over it and the sticky note will come up. You can't print the uh, sticky note logo on the PDF, but if you go up to comments, show comments list. You can print this comments list out and that states which page each sticky note is on and what it says, who it's from and who's replied to it. So we'll just hide this here. To reopen the sticky note after it's been minimized you simply go to the hand and then click on your sticky note. Now you can move your sticky note after you've typed it out. So if you click on this big giant arrow up here you can select your sticky note and then move it to wherever you'd like it to be. We'll just minimize that again. And that's a sneaky look into the sticky note tool. Next week we've got tip four, which is the touch up object tool and stamps.